Hello, Woodchucks. Welcome back to Lumberjack Simulator. We're in our pickup truck headed to the store. I need to get the wood chipper and probably the trailer is what we're going to need. So let's drive on in here. Actually, let's drive over to the garage first to see if there's anything I can do with the pickup truck. I did one job in between episodes. I was bringing some logs. I got about eight grand for it. Hitting the wrong button still. Can we, can we get out of the vehicle? Uh, let's not ax our truck at all. Um, so how does this work? We're kind of in the zone. Do I need to be in the truck for anything? I don't think so. But I don't think there's anything here for the pickup trucks. So maybe that's why it's not really giving me an option. Uh, we just got to go around the corner here anyways. I was kind of see if I could paint the pickup truck, but we need to come over here. This is a wood chipper. Small wood chipper can be used to grind wood chips. Yes, let's go ahead and spend $3,000 on that. And of course, we are going to need a trailer to put them in. Oh, so that's not too bad. $5,000? The job I did between episodes just paid for that because like I said, I got like $8,500 for that or so. Let's jump into the pickup truck. Maybe if I got to be in the pickup truck to do something with the shop. Um, I'm not really seeing anything. All right, well, I'll figure it out some other time here. Uh, can I change the camera angle so I can see where the heck I'm backing up? There we go. Uh, still not used to the camera angles with the mouse when I'm backing up and all that. Um, all right, so how does this actually work here? Where is the hitch for this thing? Is it in? There it is. There it is. All right, so the hitch is there. Let's try this again. Uh, yep, how's this mouse work? Can't see nothing. There we go kind of see and which button is uh, T for trailer that makes sense all right so we'll bring this on back let me change the camera so it locks on the truck so I can see better so I'm starting to gather up tips of trees that I've cut down so I want to go ahead and make sure that uh, we clean those up and start gathering some wood chips that way when a contract or job offer comes along we have we have them already I don't know how much the trailer holds or anything like that. I didn't see any description on the trailer. Uh, I did take the right road back, did I not? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You know what? I can just cut right across to right here. It'll be good. Um, now, let's go ahead and park that there. Let's. Does that detach the trailer? It does. Right, so I got a couple pine trees there, but I'm starting to gather up. You can see the left-hand side there. The tips of trees that I'm kind of leaving there is the starting to put in a pile. I don't know how many wood chips is actually there. Uh, I mean, it's just tips of trees that are not useful. So I'm still not quite understanding. Like it says, um, the length of the logs, yeah, we, I got, we got that down pat. As for the uh, width of the logs, the thickness of it, they're asking for a certain thickness. And I can't quite tell how to do that yet. Or even if there is a way. But the last job, same thing. I brought eight logs. No, sorry, ten logs to same place we've been going keep getting contracts for the same company and it said good job so i didn't get no penalty fees on that one well, i should say penalty fees i didn't get no bonus well actually that one job i did get um i, I don't want to say, i should say penalty oh you can kind of see that you're close enough there we go all right um i wonder if i had to put fuel into that wood chipper well, the trailer does get a little squirrely doesn't it So making money in this game seems okay. Um, it's not too bad. And as I saw when I'm in the main menu, yeah, leveling up is basically just to get bigger and better jobs. Is what it's for. So right now we're we are getting, we have the jobs to where we can just pick the logs by hand. But pretty soon there's gonna be better jobs out there to where it says uh, no, not really. All right, so I have no idea how this is gonna work. I have no clue. Boy, things get dirty awfully quick, but then again, it is kind of muddy. By the way, when I reloaded the game, the truck was completely clean. All right. Um, enter. Do I, can I enter the vehicle? It doesn't look like it. Um, do I need to hit that button? Oh, wait. Wait. Did I, did I turn it on or was it just on? Uh, let's see. Let me try hitting V. Well, V doesn't turn on. Did I just because I clicked on it? 
I have no idea. Now, are the wood chips automatically going to go into the trailer? I have no idea. Not a clue. Let's grab this little nubby one here. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. If anything. All right, how about if I put it there? Uh, wood chips did go everywhere. The question is, where did they go? I can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea if they went in the trailer or not. No, let me get the camera angle. There we go. How about like that? I have, I have no idea. Um, why can't I jump? Okay, now I can jump. Interesting. I don't know what we're doing here, so this is why we're trying it. Uh, okay, let's just well, we'll grab this one here. Oh, uh, looks like it's angling into the back of the trailer. Can I see? All right, so this, this I, I cannot jump. There we go. Now we're jumping again. Um, is there a way for me to jump on this? All right, there are wood chips in there, so I'm going to leave it parked there. I'm going to definitely leave it parked there. Now, how do I know how much wood chips is in there? I have not a clue. Is this going to be like Farming Simulator where it's hard to use this thing or what? Uh, no, there, there it goes, I think. Um, any wood chips out of that? No, it stopped. Maybe it was me that was pushing it. Having flashbacks to Farming Simulator with their wood chippers. Come on, you want to take it? I know you do. We'll let it circle there for a bit. Let's go ahead and grab another one. Maybe this one will push it in. Yes? No? Maybe? Can't tell. There are wood chips in the trailer, so the question is if I jump in the truck. Does not tell me anything. Um, F1 show controls, F1 mouse, open mats, lights, change camera. Trailer attach or detach. But it does not tell me how much I actually have in the trailer. Um, I have no idea what just happened. I think I broke the game. Uh, how about if I teleport on the map? There we go. There we go. That's one way. So if you fall through the map, just open up the map and <laughs> and um, you're fine. Uh, where were we? I think we're over here. There we go. I don't know why it was spazzing out like that. Could have something to do with the tree kind of going through our wood chipper. So I don't know if the wood chipper is actually using gas or not. And I have no idea how much wood chips are in in here. But one thing I will do, hopefully this doesn't spaz out on me. Let's go ahead and detach the trailer. There we go. And we'll get out of the truck. Um, so let's leave that up and going so I can go ahead and get wood chips. Like I said, uh, the problem with taking a contract is... Uh, let's go take a con well show contract. So it'll show me that it'll require a certain amount of wood chips. Until you know, I have no idea how much that trailer can hold. Not a clue. Not a flipping clue. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, there we go. Can we just go on in? All right. So let's see what we can get for jobs. So wood chips. Yeah, not many more days remaining on those. Pine logs for delivery. Job requires logs to be delivered to our location. Hang on a second. I would like to find one to where the truck comes to us. You can kind of see what that's all about. But the question is, uh, deliver to our location, deliver to our location. 
deliver to our location. Oh, here we go. Um, but three meter logs. Can I pick up a three meter log is the question. Payment after pickup, 3,000. Late penalty is 1,000. Five pine logs. Um, well, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and accept this one. So five pine logs at three meters long. So a truck will be coming here. If I go click on the map, am I going to see that truck moving? It sounds like I hear a truck. I'll tell you what though, we'll get, we'll get ready for it. I can definitely hear a truck. So let's go ahead. The problem is I may not be able to lift up a three meter uh, log. If that's the case, I may have to go buy something real quick. Let's go ahead and find out here. Can I pick this up? Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, here comes a truck. All right, so here comes a truck. We need five of these bad boys. All right, so I can pick up three meters. All right. Uh, three meter... I didn't see how much time was left on the job. Can I get another three meters out of here? Definitely can. Can I get another... Oh, I believe we can. So the other thing I started doing is... Since I measured from the base of the tree this way... What I do is because, as you can see, when the log rolls, it stays with it. Before, I cut it down there, and when it rolled... They were like ghost circles on the ground. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting my way back to the base of the tree. That way if it rolls or anything, it stays on. The dots will stay on the trees that I'm cutting, if that makes any sense. Uh, okay, so that's that. All right, so where's that truck? So when you load these onto the truck, just be very careful that I actually get them on the truck because I had a problem when I was testing the game out. Uh, they were dangling off the side, and for the most part, they will stay there, but a couple of them did fall out on the way there. So hopefully that when he takes off, we don't have any problems. There's number two. There's number three. Now, if everything goes well, I don't even have to go anywhere because he's taking the logs with him. But yeah, that might be our next purchase right there. In a way. Uh, wait, did I, how many did I load? Uh, I loaded four. Alright, and this little thing, we're going to go ahead and pick up and start stockpiling some wood chips. And once I get a full trailer... So the wood chips I originally threw, I wonder if... Nah, I can't tell if that's them or not. I have no idea. Alright, so we need one more 3 meter. I don't know why I'm cutting as well as I possibly can. It just seems like the right thing I should do. That tree kind of went flying. Get my axe out. And... Too bad you can't use the limbs as wood chips. All right, Peanut, that's all you need to do. Let's go ahead and get that uh, load ready to go. Three meters is what they require. And this should be the fifth one, right? Is that what they want here? Yes, five, three meter pine. Go ahead and put that down so for a second so I can get a better. No, 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 don't take off yet. That better stay on there. That guy did not waste any time whatsoever. So I'll keep an eye on the upper right hand corner to see what that says. 
if he gets there and it says one more log required, does that mean that log that was dangling? He didn't waste no time. I just barely had the log near the back of the truck. He was like, all right, thanks. See you later. Uh, yeah, whatever. So is there a way for me to see... Wow, these things get dirty really quick. So, I mean, yeah, there is wood chips in there. I just can't really see at all what we have for a total in there. So, I mean, just take a job for wood chips until I know what that trailer can hold. All right, just go ahead and just prep this tree right up because that way next time I get a job, I'm ready to go. Now, there are some trees here. I was doing the job before that required birch logs to be delivered. And I walked up to a tree and my chainsaw wasn't sufficient to cut down that tree. So that's where the feather's going to come in handy. Uh, perfect job. I think that's what it said. Uh, where was it here? Uh, job is complete. Three meter logs uh, payment. The job requires logs to be located. Yeah, we, okay, we did that. So we got paid 4286 bucks for that job. So it was a perfect job. Of course it is. I mean, that that's what we do around here. That's what we do at uh, Peanut Productions or, or Logging. Peanut, peanut Logging, I guess. I have no idea. Just make it up as we go. Let's go ahead and just uh, chop up the rest of these. Yeah, I don't think it really matters too much if they got limbs on it. It could. It could matter. I'm not really sure about that. But uh, we'll go ahead and just do what we do. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is way too big for me to move. All right, yeah, got a red mark. Sorry, it's too heavy. So I don't want to cut it because, well, I don't know what the next job requires. And it's kind of in the way, so I sh should have felled that tree a different way. Um, okay, so we're about midday, mid which is fine. Let's go back into our office slash cabin. What do we got for anything? So three meter wide is what I can least pick up, as we can see. Uh, deliver to our location, deliver to location, three meter, three meter, deliver to your location. So I know we can pick up three meter. The problem is, I think the three meters are getting just a little bit too long to be put in the back of the pickup truck. Hmm. Do we want to go to the store and buy a truck? Can I buy, can I buy the truck? Was the truck only $100,000? I think the truck was only $100,000. So let's not pick up a job yet. Out the door we go. Uh, map is the Z button. Don't ask me why the Z button and the truck is here. How much is this truck? A hundred thousand? Sold. All right, so if we come over here, this thing turns like a truck. Um, how much is that? I keep an E to get in and out of vehicles. Oh, uh, wow, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure this is way too expensive and probably too much for what we need. It's only 100000 but you know what, you know, we're, we're going to kind of do it, I don't want to say the way we should. And the next thing I probably might buy, I would say the tree harvester, because that would be, this should cut down trees, it's hard to see because the blade's not there, but it should cut down, delimb, and I can cut the length, right? So the question is, how much is that? 350 That's, I mean, it's not too bad. No, no, uh, close. There we go. Let's get back in the truck and see if we can actually use the store. All right. So now, if I come in here. All right. Now it shows green. Oh, I just teleported there, I think. Now when I put the cursor on it, it turns green. So that tells me I can go ahead and purchase them. Um, should these not fit on that truck? Was that what that's the truck they were just using? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so don't... Okay, it's in the middle of the crate. Uh, purchase for a thousand bucks? Are they all on there? Ah, they're all on there. Sweet. All right. So now we got ourselves a truck. So now we can just put the logs in the back of this. We'll have to use our pickup truck. Am I stuck? Could be. Uh, let's put it... Can it uh, nope, nope. That's the wrong button. Wrong game. Uh, locking. There we go. I mean, is there a body shop where I can change colors of the vehicles? That'd be pretty neat. 
Um, we don't need fuel. All right, let's put it open. Is there, is there a winch in front of this thing? That is a question. Well, it's a question. I don't know if it's the question. Because that's going to be kind of key to know if there's a winch here. Let's go put it in locking. There we go. That might help me out. The three meter logs are not going to fit in the back of our pickup truck. Okay, let's go ahead and get on out. Uh, yes, there is a winch. In, is there a winch in the back of these? No, there is not. I don't know how long the reach is on those things. Not a clue. All right, so now we got a truck that can actually hold some stuff. I mean, our pickup truck could, but come on. We're, we're leveling up here. Three meter long logs, and it'll hold a lot more. I mean, the, that pickup truck can only hold so much uh, with two meter logs. 15 logs for delivery. And there are pine logs. This is going... Okay, so... Uh, house woodworks i don't know is that where we've been going all the yeah, i think this is where we've been going Seven thousand for the job and of course the sooner i get it done the better 12 centimeters wide well i got a pine tree down let's go ahead and accept this job a house woodworks yeah that's the one we've been going to that's the one we've been going to so uh three meters and we need 15 of them that's quite a few amount of pine trees. So, I am going to get to work. If I haven't been already. And I'll bring it back when we're just about, when I'm just about done cutting up all 15 of these. Hopefully I don't screw up because uh, I'm bound to at some point. Four more logs will be required. I hope they'll stay in there when I bring them on down. Uh, the best way I've found so far now to delimb a tree with an axe is just find out where the limb meets the trunk of the tree and aim for the center of the trunk and do it that way. I was uh, trying to get the limb itself, but I think if you just go towards the center of the trunk, that's the best way to go at it. I can definitely see now that getting like a, um, a grapple that can load the logs on the back of this truck will definitely come in very handy pretty darn soon. I mean, yeah, you can do it by hand, but I mean, once we can start getting logs longer than three meters, then it's going to require some talking to to get it in there because uh, I think four meters, I did try four meters somewhere. I don't know if I was doing that off camera. Was that last episode, the first episode? I'm not too sure, um, but definitely cannot pick up four meters, I don't think. So like I said, I need four more three meter long. I don't think I screwed up anywhere yet, but, you know, to me, we're talking about here. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Uh, okay, nine. Okay, close. And then, yeah, 12. Yeah, we'll, we'll go right at 12 here. And then chainsaw. Then we'll go get this delivered and see if this is a perfect job or not. So far, all but one job was not perfect. I don't, I don't know what the limitations or anything are of a job. I mean, does that have to be like 99% or 95%? Who the heck knows? I don't know. All right. Uh, no, no. Stop running into it, Peanut. That would help us on out. So four more. I want to get this job done before it gets dark. So you can see the logs are all getting in there. The problem is I can only lift so high. You, know, you can see them bouncing around. Oh, I got a log already kind of spitting out. I don't know if there's straps or anything. So we'll get all these logs in. And then I'll try to grab the ones that are falling out. See if I can get them in better. Um, can you just... Yep. Uh, you know, probably would have been better if I... <laughs> um, if I... Took like half the load. Yep, that's really good. Get you know, get one in and then another one falls. Oh, you can't toss them, huh? All right. So what I may have to do here, because some are starting to fall out, as we can see, is we're gonna make a delivery what we have. 
And then we'll come back and get the rest. I mean, the vehicle does have wheels. I don't have to carry them all there at once. So, yeah, definitely either keep working the way I've been working and make multiple deliveries or get something that I can load, load these up with to make it a little bit easier. Like I said, I don't know if there's a strap for this or not. Uh, closer. Um, I don't see where there's a strap for these. Let's put some lights on here. Uh, better put this on lock. Am I going to get stuck here? They are bouncing around back there, so no way to strap them in. That kind of kind of sucks. And I better not slow down too much because being a heavier truck in the mud, I'm pretty sure it's going to sink. Meaning I could get stuck and I'll have to keep wenching myself out and it's getting, getting a little dark out. Yeah, this thing turns like a truck. At least on the way back, I don't have to worry about the logs falling out. Entering a logging... Yeah, yeah, okay. We're entering a logging area. That we know of. Yeah, so I don't know if trees just, just grow on the map. As far as I know, I don't see anything that replants trees. So, I mean, can we run out of trees eventually? Of course, we're only on day like three or four, whatever the heck it is, so I, <laughs> trees are not going to grow back that fast. If they do. So going to take them or do I have to get out of the truck? Let me get out of the truck. Um, there they go. It still says I got 15 to deliver at the top. I didn't see what it said at the bottom. Crap. I was looking at the top right. Uh, that's my job. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, the only thing I can do is go back, load up the rest, bring them on over and see if that completes the job or not. Yep, just run into the trailer as you would. Hey, we got lights coming on around here. Apparently that's a new feature, but... Um, I wouldn't know because I just started playing. Uh, but when I saw in the, in the pack, I mean, basically I got the game. They sent me the key for it. And after I, you know, up, you know, downloaded it, within like a couple hours, there was a patch. And it said they added water and, and, uh, and light. So I don't know if that's part of it or not. All right, let's go back, get the rest of the logs, put them in here, and hopefully that completes the job. Oh no, so the upper right hand corner did update. So when I was looking at it, it said 15, now it just says 4. Alright, so the first 11 we brought in were good. And I don't know how dark it gets at night. I don't know if you can roll over a vehicle, but you know what? We'll just uh, keep the pedal on down. I am playing with just a keyboard and mouse. I don't know if this supports wheels or not. Didn't even bother trying. So any of you that have been playing the game, any any hints or tips or let us know, does it support wheels or not? I have no idea. Am I going to get stuck here? Yuppers. And how far can this go? Quite a ways, actually. Alright, and then... Let's go. Come on. There we go. Backspace to detach. There we go. No, I said jump out of the vehicle. Well, maybe don't jump out. Around here, jumping out could be kind of dangerous. Alright, so I know it's getting a little dark. 
I don't know how dark it is going to be when I render this and upload it to YouTube, but we'll find out. And that log does not want to go. Object slipped out of my hands. No, it didn't. I banged it into the side rail. That's what I did. As you can see, it's kind of hard because the truck is kind of tall. Well, taller than I am. This does remind me a lot like Farming Simulator when you're trying to pick up a log with a super, super strength mode on. And you're trying to lift it up into a wood chipper or something. All right, so that's number three. So this truck uh, is going to come in handy for sure. Ouch, right on my foot. That hurt. Knocking logs all around. Alright, let's jump back in. Let's not lock, knock over my fence. I'm hoping in the future, it's kind of looking like they got like those cinder blocks. Kind of, I say cinder blocks, but those are big cinder blocks. Um, piling up there. I wonder if we're going to be able to build like a garage where we can park things in. Okay, so I went over this the first few times, no problems, but now... The game's like, yeah, it's not going to be that easy. Let's, how far can I go here? Well, okay, even further, which is good. Uh, let me put it in locking here. Can we go? Wait until I get on out of there and then detach. All right, so the question is, is that log going to stay there? all the way to where we're going. You can hear it banging on the ground as we go. Which means it might be making it shorter because it's banging on the ground. It might be trimming a little bit off the top. I'm not stopping unless that log falls out because I don't want to get stuck with the ball. Like I said, we might get stuck in the mud, but the winch will get us out, I do believe. I don't know what happened if the vehicle were to get stuck completely. I don't know if they have a reset button or not. Well, let's get there so we can see if I got a perfect job or not. Because I don't know. I, I took a job and did not look to see how long I had to complete the job or not. But for only $100,000 for this truck, that's, uh, that's a good... Yep, there goes a the log. And come on, I'm I'm hitting the I'm hitting the truck. There we go. So maybe in the future they'll have like straps or something. Somehow we can strap these in that way they don't bounce out. I don't think I can put these closer together either. That's why buying that long trailer, I was look, looking at the long trailer, I'm like, yeah, but the shorter log is going to bounce out of that, I do believe. So all of my jobs that I've delivered to, I've been to the same people. Jump on out, and... Wait for it. Are they open? Alright, so, so they got my four logs. We'll give it a moment. Uh, perfect job, you have reached level four. Perfect job. Of course it's a perfect job, because like I always say, it's me that's doing the job. There it goes, I was ready to say, come on up. Um, so what we get? Uh, well, 3,000. No, wait, it wasn't five, it was 15. It's this one right here, right? Yeah, 15 logs for the delivery, three meter, yeah, okay. Uh, so we got 7,000 in added earnings of... Is that right? 11,200. So I got $18,212 for that job? Heck yeah. Bring us back up to $160,000. Wow, this truck just almost, uh, that was one-fifth of, of what the truck cost. Not too bad. So next episode, uh, yeah, like I said, I said in episode one, we're going to do at least three episodes. Uh, I'm recording this before episode one even goes live, so I don't know how uh, how it's done. 
But definitely going to do at least three episodes on this, and I'll see how episode one and two have gone. And by the time episode three starts airing, I'll have an idea if we're going to extend it beyond that. But at least one more episode for sure, and I think next episode, if we have the cash, we're going to go ahead and buy another piece of equipment. Uh, maybe buy a, a loader so I can load the logs up better in the back of this thing. Who knows? Uh, level four, obviously now we can get bigger jobs and higher paying jobs. But the time limit is always going to be a crunch. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Lumberjack Simulator. But until then, have a good one.